Working with Tables in Microsoft Word. Today we will learn how to create a table, adjust rows and columns, format the borders, and merge cells. The first thing you need to do in order to make a table is to open up Microsoft Word. I've already shown you how to do that. So as you can see, I've already opened the document. The first thing I want to make sure you put on the document is your name. <clears throat> the second piece of information would be your teacher's name, your homeroom teacher. Now we're going to start to make a table. To make a table, we use the Insert tab. Directly underneath the Insert tab, it says Table. I want you to go all the way down to where it says Insert Table and click. At this point, you should see a new menu asking you about your table size. How many columns? How many rows? Let's set this for 10 columns. Click in the box underneath it and make it 10 rows. Then click the OK button. Now we have a basic table that's 10 rows across and 10 rows down. I would like this table to fit my entire page. So I'm going to shrink my page a little bit. I'm going to show you how to make the table fit the whole page. Notice my cursor. As I slide it over the table, it changes to two arrows. Once I get the two arrows, I click on my mouse and I'm going to drag that bottom down. And you can see how now we have one great big cell and a bunch of little ones on the top. I want all the cells to be the same size. So I'm going to go to the first cell, I'm going to click in it, I'm going to hold down, and I'm going to drag across till I have my blue area highlighted. Up at the top we go to Layout, and you will see right here it's got two squares with a little ruler next to it. It is the tool to use to distribute rows. It's going to make all my rows the same size. So just click it and the work is done for you. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to pause the video and go ahead and open up Microsoft Word and see if you can do just those steps. When you're ready, come back to the video and you'll continue. Okay, I'm going to assume you have practiced making a table, you've come back to the video, and you've pressed the arrow to continue going on with our program. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the border. The border is the... oh, we're going to talk about rows and columns. Rows go across the page from left to right. Columns go up and down the page. Each square is a cell. Cells are used for holding information. You'll notice the lines that go around the cell. Those lines are the border. Today I'm going to show you how to make some of those borders disappear. First thing I'm going to do is click in a cell. Now I'm going to go up to Design. I'm going to click on Design, and right here I have a new tool called Borders. When I click on the Border tool, I have four selections at the top. We're only going to use these four today. We have a bottom border, a top border, a left border, and a right border. When we put all of them together, they make up the square. Here's the top, here's the right, here's the bottom, here's the left. Say I want to make the bottom line disappear. I simply click on the box. 
Now I've made the cell look like it's bigger, but it's not. The cell is still two cells. I just erased the line in the middle so that they look bigger. We can erase lines in a cell in any direction we want. <clears throat> this time I'm going to erase the top border. Now I'm going to pick another cell and I'm going to erase the left and the right borders. Now what I want to teach you is how to merge cells together. Now when we merge cells together, we select two cells. I'll select these two or more. Could be three or four cells. I'll take four cells. Then you go back up to the layout tool. And right here is another tool that says merge cells. I'm going to click on it and you can see all the lines in the middle are gone. The difference between erasing a border and merging a cell is that when you merge a cell it becomes one big cell. When you remove borders the other cell the cells are still individual and I guess the best way to show you that is by using my design tool and my shading tool. Right here there is a cell even though I removed the lines watch what happens when I use my paint bucket that cell is still there. Whereas with a merge cell, it fills all of it in one. For the sections where I removed a piece, it didn't fill in the whole thing. It just filled in the one cell. So if I remove a part of a cell, a line on a cell, the cell is still a single square, but when I merge them all together, they become a larger square. Okay, I want you to pause the video and I want you to practice removing the top, bottom, left, right sides and merging. When you have practiced, come on back and see the rest of the video. Okay, now you have practiced making borders and removing borders and you have practice merging cells. Here's what your project is for today. Your project is to make a maze. You know those mazes that the teachers give you and you use the pencil and you follow through the pathway and find your way from start to finish? That's what you're going to make for me today. So we're going to go up to file and we're going to select new. And we're going to take a blank document. I'm going to close up my other document so you don't get confused. And the first thing you're going to put on it is your name and your homeroom teacher's name. Now I'll make this font just a little bit bigger than, so that you can see it. Okay, now we're going to start making the maze. This is really cool if you take your time. We go up to Insert. We go to Tables. We select Insert Tables. And our magic number is 10 columns and 10 rows. Whoops. And then we're going to click the OK button. Now I'm going to shrink my page just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And I'm going to take the bottom of my table. I'm going to drag it down so it fills the page. The next thing I need to do is I want to distribute all these rows so that I don't have this big, huge, tall one and all these short ones. I highlight the rows. I go to Layout. And then I pick this tool right here, which is hard to find. It's right underneath the word View and I'm going to distribute my rows evenly. Now here's the next thing we're going to do. Since I said we're making a maze, I'm going to pick a box to be my start box. 
Now, I really want you to see this. So I'm going to make this one bigger. I'm going to have my start box right here. That's where I want people to start. And then I need to choose if I want my person, my maze, to go to the right or to the left or to go down. I think I'm going to make mine go down. So I'm going to get my border tool. I'm going to remove my bottom border. And then I'm going to go to the next cell. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to remove my bottom border. Now I think I want it to go to the right. So let's remove the right border. And let's go to the cell underneath it. I want to remove the bottom and the top. By now you should see how my maze is starting to appear. And now I'm going to go across. I want to go to the right some more. So I just keep, whoops, I just keep removing cells until I get what I want. And I'm going to pick a cell right over here to be my finish cell. Now I just have to keep making a path until I get to that cell. I want to remove the top on this one and I want to remove the left on this one. Make sure you keep clicking inside the box so the computer knows which one you want to get rid of. I want to get rid of the right. I want to go down. Whoops. I want to get rid of the bottom. And now I think I want to just go all the way over. And for this, if I want to, I could do a merge. And erase this line. Notice I'm changing from layout to design. And this one, I need to get rid of my right border. And there's my maze. Now, no maze is complete without having some pathways that go nowhere. So now I'm going to make a path that goes nowhere. I do it the exact same way I did everything else. I erase the lines. And I just keep going. Whoops, don't want that. And let's get rid of the left. Okay, there's my path that goes nowhere. Put in as many of those as you'd like. The final thing you can do is to find some areas. Now we've talked about putting in pictures. All right, so we're going to go and select a bunch of squares. We're going to merge them together. And then we can go ahead and insert a picture from our picture file. Let's see. Oh, let's use Judge Judy. Now, Judge Judy is way, way, way too big for my, pay, uh, my maze. So I simply take one of the corners and drag it and make it small enough so that it does fit. I put her in the wrong spot. There's where I want Judge Judy to go.
All right, so I want you to put in some pictures and I want you to make it your own. When you are done with your project, make sure you go to File and do a Save As. Make sure you're in your Documents folder, my Documents library. Name it Maze. And then whatever your last name is. Now you've created the maze and you save the maze. The last thing I want you to do is I want you to go and submit it using Blackboard. That's today's lesson. Take your time with it. Practice, 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 and it'll be easy.